Uh, and, and in the words of Monty Python, and now for something completely different. Uh, from London, the UK, Nuji. Come on out. So today's a pretty special day for us. Um, we're officially launching today. Uh, but now to, uh, to get into the presentation. I'm Dean, this is Vincent. And, um, and Nuji helps you share and discover the products you love with like-minded people. So we're going to do a bit of a role play here. Um, Vincent's going to, let's, let's just pretend Vincent's at work in the morning. He's having a bit of a shop, as some people do, um, just warming up for work. And he's, uh, he's having a bit of a scroll through a, a website he quite likes. And he's, what are you going to pick there? A hat? Yep. Okay, so he's seen that hat, he quite likes it. Now he's going to tag that with the Nuji bookmarklet. Now we scrape that page and take the image as soon as it's done, but it's just one click. Um, now he's also going to choose this, uh, these headphones. And then by going back to uh, his, his profile at Nuji, it's all, oh, he needs to log in. Just a moment. It's all synced there, waiting for him. Now, let's just uh, imagine just for a moment that I am on my way to work on a bus, and I'm, uh, sorry, yeah, could you switch to mobile, please? So I'm on a bus, and I'm, I'm having a bit of a browse through, um, through my feed on Nuji, and I'm following Vincent. So I can see some of the items that he's been tagging there um, on the web. Um, and also anybody else that I'm following, as well as my own items. And I can tag them straight from my feed there on the mobile phone. So you can see that OK? Um, now, let's imagine that where I work, there's a high street nearby that has some really, some pretty cool shops. So there's a bookstore nearby. And um, I've, I've fancied this book for a little while. It's called, uh, what is it called? We Feel Whatever. Anyway, um, it's quite a good book. and. He's just going to scan the barcode there. And that's synced straight uh, to my account. And I can get more information about that product. I can share it on other social networks, such as Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr. I can search for it on Amazon, check some reviews. I can get different prices on it. And I can also see who else has tagged it. So just by clicking on it there, I've got a list of, of a few people there. And the really cool thing about this is if somebody's tagged that book, there's a good chance that I'll have similar taste to them in other things. So I'm, I've found Anton there, and he's got some other really cool products. He's got some headphones and some other things I'm interested in. So I'm just going to follow him. OK. Now just to go back to Vincent, let's, um, can we go back to the website? Let's pretend he's on his lunch break and he's shopping again, and he's following me. So he can see there that I've tagged that book. And he likes to look at that book, so he's going to tag it as well. And that syncs straight to his account. He can get more information about it again. So by clicking on, on one of the prices there, it goes straight to Borders, and he can buy it. And we get an affiliation fee every time that happens. So that's the basics of Nuji. Um, but one thing I just want to point out is you know, one of you could have really great taste in, in music, and I'm going to follow you because you've got great taste in music. One of you could have great taste in books, and I'll follow you for the books. Um, another one for clothes. Um, so really what we're trying to do here is build a shopping social graph. It hasn't really been done successfully yet. Um, there's a few companies looking into it, but if you look at something like Facebook, it's all about your real friends, and they may not have the same taste as you, in clothes or gadgets or other shopping things. And the same thing with Twitter, and the same thing with LinkedIn. And so there is actually a need for a shopping social graph. And that's, that's essentially what we're aiming to do here. So if you would like to try Nuji, um, just tweet, invite me, Nuji, at the web, and uh, we'll let you know as soon as it's up. That's it. All right, judges. So you, it, this is a brand new social network. I mean, it doesn't sit within Facebook. It presupposes that I join Nuji. Oh, no, it's, it's very heavily integrated within Facebook, Twitter, um, and Tumblr, and other social networks. So we realize, you know, in the beginning, it's not going to be a really interesting social network on its own. That's why we've integrated it so heavily. And then once that ecosystem builds, we will we'll, uh, tap into our own a little bit more. 
and, and how are you going to get this? Because it presupposes the toolbar, and a lot of people don't like toolbars. So yeah. how are you going to get people to get that toolbar out there? It's not, it's not a toolbar, it's a bookmarklet. So a lot of companies do this sort of thing. Tumblr do the same thing. Um, so you know, people are pretty familiar with that sort of thing now. Um, again, you don't have to do it um, with a bookmarklet. You can just use your mobile phone as well. And you can just tag um, products based on who you're following. So you definitely don't have to install it. So how do you do your user acquisition? Um, we're talking to different bloggers, especially fashion hipster type bloggers. Um, that's the sort of market that we're going for to begin with and then open it up a little bit later. Um, and getting them involved in Nuji and promoting them within Nuji. So if they promote us on their blogs and, and really get involved within Nuji, we'll say, hey, this person's a really good person to follow. Um, which, which could be quite interesting for them. Another area is you know, magazines, things like GQ and editors of those sorts of things, getting them involved within it. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm worried that the kinds of uh, types of things that you would operate on are more restrictive than, say, Twitter. So you know, it seems like it's a very specialized version of an app that already you know, pr provides for broader sharing. And one of the reasons to restrict those types of types is because you can do more with it. You, if you can actually understand a user's preference, make it easier and more convenient over time. But it seems that you've, you've traded off a lot of just general sharing for very specific items. And I'm wondering if you have plans around why those specific items and what kinds of user benefits can you offer? Yeah, I think um, we really just want to concentrate on shopping. I mean, as you said, Twitter is extremely broad. And I can, I can share things on Twitter, my shopping things on Twitter, not a problem. And the same thing with Facebook and what have you. Um, but we think that there is a need for just shopping. Like you know, in this use case, for example, um, you know, if, if I'm looking for inspiration for shopping, I'm not going to go to Twitter. I'm not going to go to Facebook. Um, and these websites don't really do it well enough yet. So I think there is there is a need for it. It's very interesting. I don't have re I don't really have question, but could you speak about your team and maybe how much money you need to to go strong? How much money you need to, to start? How much money was it? Yes, you because you, I think you, you have to go fast, no? Yeah, um, we don't want to speak too specifically about exact fund, funds just yet, but we are looking to make a pretty aggressive move into the US. Um, we realize this is a US-focused product. It's not European per se, um, although it can be quite successful here as well. So we, we need enough money to do it both here and or in the UK and the US. Um, so yeah. So, so what makes you say that? What is it about the product that, uh, that you feel is US-centric as opposed to kind of Euro European-centric? Um, just the fragmentation here. I mean, it's, it's, it's very difficult to, to get critical mass. And it's as simple as that. I think every, every startup has the same problem here. There's some startups where that suits. For example, Skype is perfect for it. Um, the fragmentation actually works to their advantage, and that's why they were so successful here. Um, but in our case, no. It's, it's definitely the US. All right, thanks so much. So that's the next four companies. Um, we're going we're gonna to be back here at 2.30. Let me thank uh, our judges for this session, Ray, Marissa, Mike, Henri. Thank you so much for your help. And uh, have a good lunch. We'll see you all at 2.30.